Hello, Dr. Erickson here. There seems to be a growing number of women that try as they might, they cannot get pregnant. There's a connection, believe it or not, between the thyroid dysfunction and infertility. T3, which is your active form of thyroid hormone, your thyroid gland produces two forms of thyroid hormone. One's called T4, one's called T3. T4 is your inactive form. T3 is your active form of thyroid hormone. And if you get too much of that T3 that's flooding the system, what actually happens is your body becomes desensitized to that. It shuts down the receptor sites. This is not a good situation because then you start going into a hypo or a low thyroid metabolic state. This is going to affect your immune system. It's going to affect your body's energy centers, your metabolism, all of that stuff. Now, this problem can actually be created by having what's called insulin resistance. Now, blood sugar is what we're talking about now when we're dealing with insulin resistance. And if you have a blood sugar problem where the sugar runs too high, and optimum levels of blood sugar range from 85 to 99, so we're talking about the range from 100 to about 126, is what would be called insulin resistance, or it's also called pre-diabetic. Above that 126, now you're looking at a full-blown diabetic problem. But elevated blood sugars is also going to tra uh, trigger an elevation of testosterone. Okay, this causes all sorts of female problems. Now, testosterone is great in men. It's not so great in high levels in women. One of the things that will result as a high testosterone level is that women can develop PCOS, which is called polycystic ovarian syndrome, and also infertility. So high levels of testosterone is not a good thing if you want to, have, if you want to be able to increase your family. Now, I do have a friend. She spent over $50,000 going to a clinic, a professional, that was supposed to help her with her fertility issues. After eight months of taking lots of medication to being chronically exhausted, disappointed, depressed, she did not have a baby. Now, unfortunately, she went the hard route. She also ended up with some neurological problems as a result of everything that she went through. Now, if she had been evaluated properly. I mean, she may have found that she had some blood sugar issues. She may have had found some testosterone imbalances. And that would have been leading and contributing to her problem with infertility. You want to improve your success of uh, your, you want to improve the success of you increasing the size of your family? Well, you need to see a doctor that understands the relationship between the thyroid and the blood sugar and also the nervous system. All of these things have to be orchestrated and have to be working perfectly if your body needs, if your body's going to be able to get that baby and hold that baby to turn. One of my clinical models is we treat the person, we don't treat the symptoms. So if you come into my clinic for an evaluation, we're actually going to look at what's going on, not just simply identifying what kind of symptoms you have and trying to label you with a diagnosis. We need to get at the cause. This is Dr. Erickson saying, hope to see you sometime in the future. We do have some free workshops. If you want to poke around on our website, you may find some links to those and you can come in and learn more about the thyroid. But I hope you have a great day today.